what I thought the still of the draft, although Joey Porter Jr., we, we kind of thought that we would kind of get him. I think I know where uh, you're going. Man, Darnell Washington. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I thought, to me, I thought that was a still in the draft. And knowing the history of the draft, those third rounders. Tight ends, some third round tight ends. Hey, man, they always come they out massive. special for some odd reason. <laughs> hey, Pat P, have you ever in your long career, have you ever covered someone who's six, 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 seven? I don't think so. The tallest guy I so. played was, was Calais. And he and we played on the same side of the ball. Yeah, y'all on the same side of the ball. And I mean, Calvin was like six four. Yeah, right. Calvin, 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 was six, Calvin was six five, six six. You sure? I thought he was like Hell six. Hell yeah, every bit of it. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm talking about his combine measurements. Like I, I he think was six five at the combine. I, I think he was six four at the combine. Yeah, okay, he was six five. five. So so skip the other. Hey man, Mac, I know I had to guard that monster a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> so Calvin would be the tallest you've ever covered. He, no, yes. actually, how tall is Vincent Jackson? Vincent Jackson's about like six four, six five, too. I had to guard Vincent Jackson and um he was he played for the Chargers too, Malcolm. Uh shucks, what's his last name? 80s. Uh number 80. 80. Malcolm. Yeah, slim. Slim yeah, and tall. tall too. Yeah. Well, freaking Darnell Washington is six seven. Yeah, he's six seven, but he's the tallest for sure. <laughs> he 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 is he is going to be the tallest. Uh, I'm right there with you in regards to the steal. Um, with him being available at the end of the third round, I was surprised to see that. And you add another weapon. In the, and the unique thing about Darnell Washington is that he's like an extra tackle. Right. Because he's he's he's, he's really five. good in the run game as well. So yeah. now if the Pittsburgh Steelers and Matt Canada, if they want to come out into this old school mentality with 12 personnel, 12 personnel for our listeners, our viewers, is basically we have two wide receivers, two tight ends, and one running back. If they want to go out and utilize 12 personnel, most defenses, because you have two athletic pass catchers at the tight end position that you have to respect, they might come out in their nickel package or their dime package. If that's mm -hmm. the case, you can just run it down the teeth of their defense. Right. Right? Because you got they got little bodies out there in my, being respectful of the pass. Or if they want to put bigger bodies out there, you still like your two tight ends in that matchup against bigger bodies that are not nickel or dime-like guys. So right. this is a unique, could be a unique matchup nightmare for Matt, opposing defenses. 